going on everyone Kyrie Irving's roller coaster with the Brooklyn Nets the last month or so is officially over or so it seems Kyrie Irving has officially opted in to this year's contract and it says that he's going to play out the year with the Brooklyn Nets and so therefore you're going to get one more year he wants to honor his fourth year obligation to the Nets and then likely see what shapes up and takes place next season uh, and then we'll be right back at all this circus all over again will he stay will he go what's going to happen all of those things so that'll be really interesting to see what develops next season but what does this mean for Kyrie Irving the Brooklyn Nets and primarily the Los Angeles Lakers right because all the talk was that the Lakers would get Kyrie Irving that Kyrie Irving would go to the Los Angeles Lakers now here's the thing I don't think this is completely dead now I think it's a lot less likely to some degree but in reality Kyrie Irving needed to opt in for this to happen for Kyrie to go to the Lakers he needed to opt in now there was all the talk and you know speculation of him opting out and signing a six million dollar deal which I think is a very Kyrie Irving thing to do I wouldn't have been shocked at all if he did that but now that we know what happened uh, now that we know he opted in this is what you needed because the Lakers couldn't do a sign and trade for Kyrie Irving they had to have him opt in and then do a trade so the Lakers weren't hard capped. Now, obviously, Kyrie has said, you know, he wants to honor his obligation, stuff like that, but the Nets seem pretty high on moving him. The Nets don't seem very inclined to do that. I mean, there were reports coming out today that they were willing to lose Kyrie and Kevin Durant just so they don't have to relive what they went through last year. And so if Kyrie is going to buy in, then yeah, I think the Nets maybe give it a chance. But I don't think the trade is off the table. Not just that, but there was also a report that the Nets told Kyrie, opt in and then go find a sign and trade. So right now, Kyrie has to show face. He can't say, I'm opting in just to be traded. You know, I mean, the report said that, but he has to stay, you know, I'm staying here. Kyrie did the exact same thing to the Boston Celtics. Said, I can't wait. I'm going to be here forever. And then he immediately left and went to the Brooklyn Nets. So Kyrie saying he's staying in Brooklyn does not mean Kyrie is staying in Brooklyn because he did the exact same thing to the Boston Celtics. Now, could this be a completely different situation? Absolutely. But Kyrie had to opt in for him to go to another team because any of the teams that could sign him don't want him or they're not a contending team. So he's not going to want to go there. And all the other teams are, are capped. So if they made a sign and trade, including the Lakers, then they're they're hard capped and it's going to be very difficult to build a team. Like if the Lakers had Kyrie, LeBron, and Anthony Davis, that is a tremendous team. But in reality, you're, you're kind of in trouble because you need to put pieces around them and you don't have the money to do so because 90% of your cap goes to these three guys. So that's something else that, that would have been an issue. And now that Kyrie is opted in, all they need to wait for is Russell Westbrook to opt in and then they can make the trade happen, whether it's Westbrook for Kyrie straight up or it's Westbrook going to a third team. Uh, those assets go to uh, the Brooklyn Nets, like the Hornets deal, right? There's talks about the Hornets want Westbrook to clear off salary cap. You go, you, you send, uh, you know, Terry Rozier and uh, Hayward to the uh, Brooklyn Nets and then Kyrie goes to the Lakers and then Westbrook goes to the Hornets. That is something that could happen. I still think that if there is a trade, it's going to very likely be a direct Lakers to Brooklyn trade. I think it's going to be Westbrook for Kyrie and likely like Patty Mills or something like that because for multiple reasons. One, obviously KD has to agree to that and sign off on it. I don't think he wouldn't, you know, because he gets a guy that you know is going to play night in and night out. Kevin Durant and Kyrie and, uh, and Russell Westbrook were just a monstrous of a team. Like, I don't think people realize how good they were together and how they made it work. And now you have all these assets, all these shooters, this team that is really suitable for Westbrook as opposed to the Lakers. If Kevin Durant says, okay, I'll deal with it for a year. Let's see how it works. I think that that happens. And not just that, the problem with the third team is you're giving up all these assets and those assets end up, uh, you know, drowning out the cap for the Brooklyn Nets, which if you keep Westbrook, now you have all that money coming off the books. Do you really want to trade for long-term contracts? They're off going the Westbrook route over anything else because like I said, the money falls off, but not just that, you're, you're kind of in the same boat. You don't know what you're going to get with Kyrie Irving. You don't know if he's going to play 82 games or he's going to play 20 games. You don't know if he's going to show up and he's going to be the best Kyrie Irving. The one thing you do know with Russell Westbrook, 
is he's going to be the best Russell Westbrook he can be. He's going to be there for all 82 games. I mean, he would have played 82 games this year, but the Lakers sat him a handful of games. Otherwise, he would have played every game. So the one thing you don't know with Kyrie, you know for certainty with Westbrook. It's just, will Kevin Durant buy into that for a year? If he does, then yeah. And if it works, let's say it's great. Let's say they, they're they killing it. Let's say they get to the conference finals or they get to the NBA finals. Then you can always re-sign Westbrook on a cheaper deal and then, you know, go get some other assets to improve your team. I just think that that would be the best approach, um, assuming that Kyrie Irving still wants out, still leaves, and the Brooklyn Nets want that as well. But ultimately, I mean, you get the duo and you get Ben Simmons. Now, from a Brooklyn Nets perspective, if Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving, which is a big if because they're both just, they're, they're probably the worst two pairings as far as actually showing up to work that you could have. But if they do show up to work and they are those guys, like if Ben Simmons is Philly Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving can be Kyrie Irving that we know and love, that he can be, you know, Cleveland Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant is just Kevin Durant, this team is scary. Because what you get with Ben Simmons that you didn't get with James Harden is the facilitator who doesn't need to put up a bunch of points, a big body that can guard multiple positions. Ben Simmons might be the best on-ball defender in the entire league. It's just, can he get his mental right? Because you have a lot of very weak, mental-minded people on the Brooklyn Nets. And they don't really have somebody that is mentally strong that can just, you know, challenge these people. Like, I mean, even from a coaching perspective, you have Steve Nash. Steve Nash isn't going to get into these guys and cuss them out and tell them, you know, I need you on the court. He's not going to be that guy. So you have a lot of, and Kevin Durant's not that guy. So you have a team of just so many unknowns. Like, I don't know, if I'm Kevin Durant, do you really want that? Do you really want to be in this position? Like, if you're Kevin Durant, you're almost better off telling Brooklyn, like, just get rid of him. You know, like, I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't say that because it's his friend, but still, like, you know, at some point you got to say enough, like, enough, man. I, I came here for, for you. I came here because I thought we were going to win a championship together. I came here when I could have went to 15 other places because I wanted to play with you and, and make this an enjoyable experience, and all you've done is ruined it. Like, I haven't been able to count on you once. And, like, you got to remember, I mean, the Brooklyn Nets were uh, Kevin Durant toe away from eliminating and being in the NBA Finals. So if they can get back to just everybody buying in, this team is a legit contender. This team is scary. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are still Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. It's just, will Kyrie Irving buy into it? And then you get a guy like Ben Simmons, who can do so many things. He can guard the best player on the other team. You know, he can facilitate, he can rebound. He's going to get you he's going to get he's going to get you a triple double or damn near every single game with Kyrie and Kevin Durant. He's going to walk into 10 assists a game. He's big enough he can get, you know, 8 to 10 rebounds and he's going to get you at least, you know, 15 10 to 15 points a game just on rebounds, putbacks, just, you know, uh, KD and Kyrie drawing all the attention and dumping it down. Like they're in a excellent place if you're the Brooklyn Nets. But there's just so many things that are a mystery for them. There's so many question marks that are on the arise for this team. I, just, I still think it's not out of the woods yet that Kyrie Irving is going to be traded. I think if he goes anywhere, I do think it's going to be the Lakers. And I think that the Brooklyn Nets are just waiting for Russell Westbrook to opt in. Because like I said, it's just weird that there was, a, that they, they, there was all these reports that the Brooklyn Nets told Kyrie... Go find a go find a trade, um, and then opt in. And hours later, he opts in. Like I, I don't know. And maybe maybe he did. Maybe he was just like, you know what? Maybe he talked to Kevin Durant and said, you know what? Like let's figure it out. Let's do this. I want to stay here. Maybe he does. Maybe he does stay. But this is everything that's happening is exactly what had to happen for Kyrie Irving to be traded. So you know, it's not like he if he opted in and signed a five year deal, I'd be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Kyrie's staying with the Brooklyn Nets. But the fact that he just opted in tells me that he that he still very likely is on the move. And I know Kyrie, because I know people are going to say, like I mentioned earlier, just because Kyrie said he wants to stay here doesn't mean that's going to happen. He didn't say, I'm not leaving. There's no way. There's no nothing. I'm a Brooklyn Net for life. Anything like that. No, he said the exact same thing. He said more when he was a Celtic and immediately left and went and signed in Brooklyn. So, I, I don't buy the whole, oh, well, you know, I know who I am. I want to, you know, uh, you know, honor my four years. Like, no, you said the same thing about the Boston Celtics and you were gone. So anyway, as always, this is a discussion. So I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think of Kyrie Irving opting into the Brooklyn Nets? Do you think that he stays? Do you think that he goes? 
Uh, do you think like, yeah, he opted in because he had to. He had to opt in. He's not going to leave that $36 million on the table. So he opts in, and now he can be traded. Everything's kind of going according to the plan, going to script. What do you think happens if he does get traded? Do you think he goes to the Lakers? Do you think he goes to another team? I just I just really think he's – I think he either stays in Brooklyn or he goes to the Lakers. I think those are really the only two options on the table personally. And I think most likely what's going to happen is Brooklyn's just going to swap, you know, a Patty Mills – Kyrie for a Russell Westbrook. They just are waiting on Westbrook one to sign to to opt in and Kevin Durant to sign off on it. And I think as soon as Kevin Durant signs off on it, that's likely going to be the trade. And then that just gives you so much more flexibility if you're the Brooklyn Nets over trying to go and get a third team involved. And now that third team is giving you a bunch of assets that you don't want, you don't need, and salary that you don't need. You definitely don't need. Um, but anyway, again, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on everything that's unfolded. What do you think of this Kyrie drama in general? Uh, even if he, if he does stay in Brooklyn, we're going to be right back here again this time next year. The same thing's going to happen because now, but now he doesn't have an opt-in. So I don't know. We'll see what develops, but let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.